Hey guys, Sakai here, doing my best crazy scientist hair, and I wanted to give a quick character update and sort of just ramble. I've been playing very casually the last few days, I've been mined all over the place and playing with my hair. Um, 72, going slow, picked up this 6 link, which was just a whatever 6 link, and I've got a little whispering eyes, because why not? Um, it was a thing of I wanted a 6 link because 6 links are good. I'm doing Mind Over Matter stuff using EB and I wanted um, a ES evasion chest. I could have gone for a pure um, ES chest, which maybe would have been the best way of doing things. However, getting a decent ES chest, which is six link is difficult. So I thought, well, let's go for budget. Let's get this. So I got the six link uh, carnal just base, I think for something like it was between 30 and 40 chaos, I can't even remember, which is a pretty good steal. It's uh, ATI level, yeah. So an ATI level, 6 and carnal, 30 to 40 chaos, pretty good. I just slapped an essence of greed on it, threw two essences on, just kept the first one, which had life, had some resists. Ideally, I want to, one with like high life, then flat ES, then an ES percent roll. So you're kind of looking at like a 400 ES chest, ideally with a bunch of life in it, which also has some evasion. But at the moment, I didn't really have the currency to play around with that. So we're rocking that. We're rocking the Lionized Glare. And we have the Minion Damage, Mirror Arrow uh, in a 5 link. And in the 6 link, we have the Blink Arrow. We have the Blink Arrow in the 6 link because I have this Lion Pelt with uh, Blink Arrow cooldown recovery on there. Basically means that we can Blink Arrow a bit more often. My links are very all over the place. I'm still sort of transitioning in and out of leveling gear. But we have reached block cap, which is pretty cool. I'll do a quick dry lake run so you can sort of see what it looks like. But while I do that, I just want to complain about something. So I've been watching a lot of Netflix series recently, as you guys um, are aware. And without going into any spoilers, I just finished watching the Santa Clarita Diet, whatever it is. It's an alright show. I'd recommend watching it if you have time. I literally one-shot the entire thing today, start to finish. But um, this isn't in reference to just one show in particular, this is to do with just shows in general, especially Netflix original series. I'm fucking bored of television not ending. What I mean by that is, remember that I went to film school, right? I studied film, I've taken script writing classes, surprisingly. I can video edit, you would know it from my YouTube videos. And I have like a rough idea of how stuff should be done. Now, the thing which annoys me is People are writing shows to get seasons. And the problem with writing shows to get seasons is you cannot have a succinct ending. And it is so frustrating. And this isn't just a TV thing, this is a movie thing. But I just want to talk about TV because I've been watching a lot of TV. And I prefer TV as a format to uh, film. I find, generally speaking, you have more time to work with the characters. You generally get more character development. Obviously, there are always good shows. There are always bad shows. There are always bait shows. But so much of... Netflix original series is just dun 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 bullshit ending so we get another season please and it just completely robs you of any sense of catharsis catharsis is a pretentious word for satisfaction so basically my analogy for watching uh, Netflix these days is you know you get your favorite internet link you get all your equipment together you know your male bits your female bits whatever you really get into it and then you just sort of decide to have a glass of water instead, instead of finishing. And while water is a brilliant drink, I personally love water. It's not quite what you had in mind and while you're no longer thirsty, it's filled that need. You're left unsatisfied and you're just kind of wanting more. And that is basically Netflix in a nutshell. But um, getting back to PoE... <laughs> Um, I'm actually pretty happy with this build. I'm missing all of the minion damage on the tree, and you can see it's doing all right. Um, it's killing rares. It kills Volf pretty quickly for what it is, which is a fucking level 72 Blink Mara Arrow build. Um, we are using Proj Weakness, Ellie Weakness on here. I'm not doing a very good job of keeping up my bone offering because I'm, you know, tip tapping away. But yeah, it's very spammy, which I like. Some people don't like spammy builds. I do. But if you just look, they kind of clear stuff up pretty well. Um, it's mostly just the thing about constantly moving forward. Ideally, you would have the cooldown recovery on the mirror arrow, because obviously blink arrow being 
our main DPS is kind of awkward because it makes you want to blink aggressively into packs. Whereas with Mirror Arrow, if the Mirror Arrow is your aggressive setup, you can push that forward. So basically the character is still working. We're just leveling up, getting stuff in. Now, because I haven't got my links finalized, we're missing a Vile Lightning Trap, which is very important because that's just a big single target boost. It also makes the playstyle even more spammy, which is something I really like. We're missing our zombie setup. And there was something else that we are missing. Uh, no, mostly just zombies, Vile Lightning Trap, and then stuff being in the wrong links. Uh, one of the things, and this is another nice thing about using ES bases and why doing the whole EB mom thing about better, is we have a lot of blue links. So if I bring up the links here, a lot of our links are blue based. Um, so having pure evasion gear, having pure armor gear is very awkward to color. So going for hybrid gear of, you know, you can pick, I prefer evasion to armor, especially when you're going to have low amounts. I'd rather have low amounts of evasion than low amounts of armor because low amounts of armor do nothing. But we do use a roomies, so you could argue, oh, maybe it's worthwhile. And yeah, just to clarify that we do have block cap. I'll just go back and show you something. We only have like 56% spell block cap. If you wanted to cap out spell block, you could run either a stone of Lazwa or rainbow stride. But if we just get some corpses. Um, bring up the fence tab, put the roomies on. You'll see 75% block, 54% spell block. Uh, let's finish up that blue pack for the XP. So, yeah, um, the HP is low, obviously, but you need to add in the energy shield because it's mine over matter. So we have an effective, like, 5k-ish HP pool at the moment, and we're missing this whole Scion section, which is, you know, a fair amount of life. We're missing uh, life on two jewels. And then if you look at the life rolls on my gear, it's not that amazing. So we have 52 life here. This is only a 90 life belt. Remember, you can quite easily get up to 150 life belts. This is a 33 life pair of boots, uh, 45 life ring, 69 life ring, 27 life ring. Okay, it has some strength on there, so it's more like, you know, 40, 50. But really nothing that exceptional. We only really have good life rolls on the chest and one ring. So you're looking at about, once you have all the life nodes filled in and the jewels, this is 194% life on the tree with three 7% jewels. You're looking at about five to 6K life, depending on how good your rares are. Then add on however much energy shield you have. And without going too crazy on energy shield gear, you'll have about one to 2K. If you go like full in like big daddy pure ES chest, obviously it's gonna be a lot higher, but I'm you know mostly aiming around um, hybrid pieces. An important thing about the helm, ideally we would have a bone helmet, that is the um, hybrid armor ES helm which gives you the minion damage, and then we would use the essence to get plus two level of auras on there. Most of our damage comes from our anger wrath combo, shove our anger wrath in there, big deeps. And another thing to note, a lot of people are saying why aren't you using hatred? At the moment I probably should be using hatred actually, but um, we use EE, so we only want to use two elemental damage types and leave one type open. So my Reign of Arrows Curse on Hit, which is Curse on Hit, Proj Weakness, and um, Ellie Weakness. It has some cold on there, so it debuffs with the EE. Our minions are separate to us, so our minions don't reset it. As long as we hit once, we're chilling. And then we just need to make sure it's always active on stuff. Um, a level 22 Anger Wrath should be slightly better than um, Hatred. One thing that Song points out to me, a Hatred Herald of Ash should be a bigger DPS increase. But the way that heralds interact with minions is awkward. They're clones of us, so they gain the damage, but they don't get the proc. And also, Commander of Darkness is a thing. And heralds don't count as auras, so they don't get the increase from here. Long and short of it, a level 22 Anger Wrath is better than running, like, uh, Wrath Hatred. But for leveling, you should probably be using a Hatred, and I should probably be using a Hatred right now, but whatever. So, yours. Um, another important thing to note, yeah, so I'm missing all the minion damage. I'm missing 45% uh, minion damage here, and then another either 30% minion damage or 15%, and then the Flesh Binder. If my zombies are tanky enough, then Flesh Binder will be great because it'll give me a bunch of Fismet. Well, it'll give me some Fismet. If they're not tanky enough, I'll just spec out of it, go into this, and then this gives me more jewel sockets. Well, gem links, sorry meaning I don't need to run unset rings, so either way it's good. If it works and zombies are great, then Fismet, if they turn out to be kind of like whatever, I don't like them, 
then I get more links and then I can, you know, fit more stuff to the build. You know, so that's all good, all good, all good, all good. And yeah, the available minion damage to us is minion damage here, minion damage here, minion damage here, and then you can come up this way to get some minion damage here. And then if the zombies thing are really good, you can pick up extra ones. Um, taking stuff like minion attack speed, minion attack speed. Minion and blink, bleh, mirror and blink, I always get that wrong. They have capped out 1.8% attacks. Um, so you don't need to invest that heavily into attack speed at all. It's why we can get away running bone offering over flesh offering. It's why we don't need to have a vol haste up 24-7. Uh, because we get laser attack speed from Commander of Darkness. So it's very easy to cap out the attack speed minimal investment. So if you do want to get nodes like this, then make sure you're not like wasting attack speed. So, yeah. That's basically where I'm at right now. I'm sort of leveling slow, enjoying Netflix. Well, semi-enjoying Netflix. I'm Taki, the cat is asleep on the bed. Rip immersion, dun, dun, dun. Can you see her? God, my room is so tidy here. But you see the like white cloth ball? Can you see them? Yeah. All right, ooh, green screen. Um, cat's gonna be like, bro, how'd you wake me up? Anyway, I'm Taki, that's a cat. Have a good day. Bye-bye.